Okay. Uh, I always start my videos with that for some reason. All right. Um, I want to um, explain a few things and clarify a few things. Recent vids have um, had a lot of posts of stop before you die, it's not worth it, all this stuff. I thought I'd made it quite clear I've already stopped. Uh, obviously I hadn't, so I want to just clarify the situation. Um, I've stopped. Well, I'm currently running 200 meg of test a week. The only reason I haven't done a PCT is because I want to stabilise the kidney issue. Um, once I know I've got that under control, then I'll run a PCT. Now, it was always the plan that at the end of this year, or last year now, to um, drop my body weight. I was going to Thailand for two weeks. Um, it was my way of saying thank you to my wife for all the support she's given me over the last 12 months. And I knew she was concerned, one, about me travelling at my size. Uh, because we'd been warned by the airlines they may not allow me on the plane if I didn't fit correctly. Uh, and two, to make sure I was fully mobile. As many of you know, I've had a lot of nerve issues. Now, that's three, four weeks before we left. I was paying three, I'm very mobile. I obviously had the kidney issue, uh, which proved some complications in the works, but I was already reducing food, I'd stopped training, reduced it, and obviously bringing the drugs down. Initial plan was to do a full PCT before I went, but that was scuppered with the kidney issue. Uh, so I've dropped a substantial amount of weight. Um, so that I was more mobile, I, I fitted in things better and it wasn't going to cause me any issues while I was on holiday. Walking around at nearly 400 pounds can cause complications, especially in a country where they're not used to people of that size. Anyway, unfortunately on the second day of my holiday, I back went into spasm and I spent a day in hospital and then I wasn't very mobile for the whole holiday anyway. Didn't ruin it, but it definitely put a damper on it. Uh, but we made the best of a bad situation. And I've got quite a tan. Unfortunately, the camera quality on the iPad's not brilliant, so I don't know if you can even see it. And even though it doesn't look like it when I'm looking at this image now, my skin has actually cleared up quite a bit. Anyway, I'm being deliberately vague about weights and, and where I got to because it's all going to be revealed in the film. The film's released at the end of February. And the producer has asked me not to reveal where I got to in my project. What I will say is, I set out to find my limit. And I found it. Um, I couldn't have gone anymore. My body couldn't cope anymore. I fully realise that. Now, that's another thing. These are my current health issues. I have S F S G S of the kidneys, which basically means that my kidneys are scarred and they leak. Um, doctors or specialists have told me that um, I've had this for several years and that um, the drugs haven't caused it. Now, let me clarify something here, because I've had a few people question this. The steroids did not cause the problem, but they definitely didn't help it, and they definitely made it worse or complicated it. They did put extra pressure on my kidneys, yes, or on my whole system. But I had the condition anyway. Now, the drugs, coupled with the weight, coupled with the diet, coupled with the training and everything else... I've probably accelerated the situation without doubt. But the steroids aren't a singular cause in this. They are part of a complex group of issues that have all contributed to this problem getting worse. They think that the problem is most likely genetic. But they're not 
they, well, they can't really give me a definitive answer in any way. Um, so the real cause, God knows. But, you know, I'm not in denial about the fact that the drugs have added to the issue. Without, without doubt, they have. Now, my other issue, my skin. This is being diagnosed as adult rosacea. Um, I've been told it's been brought on by stress. Now, I have had a very stressful year, not just with the project and the strains on my body, from the food and the training and the drugs and everything else, but also um, my daughter made some bad decisions this year and put herself in a very, very dark place. Um, I couldn't really do anything to help. It was something I had to let her work through herself. And it was incredibly difficult. Um, probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. Watching my daughter make bad decision after bad decision and go further and further down a dark hole. Uh, it broke my heart. And that was most of this year. Now she's turned a corner. She's sorted herself out. And she's turning into the beautiful, young, wonderful human being I always knew she could be. And I am really proud of her. But for those six months where she was in that dark place, it was hard. And so there's a strong chance that they, they, they could be stress factors behind this, this skin problem. Uh, do the drugs have an effect? I don't think so because it's cleared up while I've been on heavy cycle. It's come back when I've been off cycle. It's come when I've been on... It's, so there's no... There seems to be no link between my dosages and the drugs that I've taken and the condition of my skin. And uh, that's it, really. Um, other health issues? No, heart's 100% bang on. Liver, 100% bang on. Apart from a little tendon injury in my shoulder, I've got no other problems. No joint problems. I have this back issue. Now, this back issue is a spinal, is a spinal, sorry, it is a muscle imbalance um, caused by an imbalance between my glutes, my lower ab wall, my psoas, and my spinal erectus. Now, this last spasm has nowhere been as bad as the others, uh, and I have got some nerve impingement again. But for only being two weeks ago since it happened, Mobility is quite good. Uh, we just, I start physio again with it tomorrow. Uh, I'll get on top of it pretty quick. So, frustrating? Yes, very. I entered 2015 in a lot of pain and I left it in a lot of pain. Uh, I don't plan on repeating the same for 2016. So, that's where we are. You know, at no point do I say that these drugs that I have taken haven't played their role. They have played their role in my health issues. What I'm saying is they are not the root cause. Right. Uh, you know, I'd be an absolute idiot to say that steroids are safe. They're not safe. They're really. bollocks safe. They're, they can be incredibly dangerous if you fuck around with them. Uh, and I've pushed my luck. I'm not in any denial of that. So that's where we're at. Um... So the plan now, hmm, well, obviously rehab this spinal, well, muscular back problem um, as quick as possible. Uh, get back on diet, um, more because I just enjoyed the structure, to be honest. Um, I found it really weird not having a diet, a structured diet. Um, and go from there, uh, get back into the gym, get back into enjoying training. And I've got a few ideas floating around in my head, uh, but nothing concrete, so I'm keeping my mouth shut for now. Um, and that's it, really. There's not much else to say on that front, you know? I mean, uh, this is where we are. Um, we've got closing interview sort of wrap-ups to do for the film, and then it'll go into post-production, so that will all be done by the end of January. Um, and it's just really not much more else to say on the matter, which brings me to another question. Um, 
there's not really much to tell you guys, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this channel at the moment, whether I'm going to continue it, whether I'm going to change it, uh, or where we're going to go. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, I think it will naturally give me a, a route to go. Life tends to do that, I seem to find. So I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to put another video up as well, um, but uh, more of a reflection type thing. That time of year for all that crap, isn't it? So I wish you all the best uh, and good luck and I'll see you soon.